Hiya, welcome back. I'm just about done with Thomas's new room. I've decluttered, added new curtains, new lighting, new teddy and book storage. Today I'm adding some wall features to tie everything together. Last time I was considering adding a large wall feature of the cockpit window of a space shuttle. I wasn't really feeling the love for this idea and when I look back at my brief it wasn't what I was looking for. The room is small and it's on the western side of our house. So dark features will make this space feel really closed in. Here's a messy kid. So dark spaces plus clutter equals an uninviting space. What I settle for in, in the end is some portholes. These give a glimpse of the earth from space, implying a feeling of being within a space shuttle rather than a large realistic wall feature of a cockpit. These are super easy and cheap to make. I picked up some plywood rings from eBay for about $5 a piece. Being plywood, they're very light, making them ideal for this project. I cut out some paper templates and stuck them on the walls with sticky tape in the final locations. I traced a bit of an outline of a planet as a guide for, paint, for painting. I painted the plywood rings with black matte acrylic paint. Then, using the plywood rings as a template, I traced the circles onto acrylic painting paper. Using a deep blue and a seafoam aqua acrylic paint, I painted a rough background of the earth. Using green and white, I added some continents and clouds. You can be as accurate as, or as abstract as you like with this. I didn't worry about copying the earth exactly, just implied the familiar shapes that we might think of. I added some sweeping clouds. Have fun with this, it's up to you how many clouds you want. Once I had painted a black background for space, I added a light overlay of blue paint for the atmosphere surrounding the earth. I then dotted on clusters of stars, gases and whatnot in the space. Cut around the traced out circles, leaving about half an inch margin to glue onto the back of the frame. Make sure there's no white showing around the inside of the frame. Using PVA glue, attach the paper to the back of the frames. Allow to dry, and then attach to the wall in the pre-planned positions. Because these are so light, I simply used a few small strips of double-sided tape that can be removed at a later date when we're finished with them. You could nail them directly through the plywood for a more permanent fix and then cover the nail with acrylic paint. I've also hung a galaxy clock and an A1 galaxy poster. I hope to add a tube for the clock at a later date and the poster prints are available for purchase at thenew20shousewife.com.au. I'm currently working on a floor rug for this room as well, but that's going to take some time, so I'll keep you updated on how that's going via my website or Insta. Let's have a look back at where we started. Wow, that room was a mess. Just a side note, I did consider painting the bed, but I had a bit of a couldn't be bothered moment. I'm happy enough with it for now, but I might change my mind when I get some more time on my hands. I'm sure you guys can figure out how to paint a bed though. His new room is much more suited to the young boy that he's grown to be. It's cleaner, easier to manage, and he just loves it. How much did all this cost? Well, the total came in well under $250 in total, including all of the wall art and the rug that I'm working on. I hope you all found some inspiration of your own. Don't forget to follow us on Insta and subscribe to keep up to date with what we're working on next time. See you then. Bye.